All right, hello everyone, and now welcome to game number two in this series between Foggy and 120. Hold on one moment. Hi! Yes, my daughter wanted to say hi to everyone once more. I'm going to go ahead and speed things up. Huh? More Wisp going inside as we currently see 120 with a one to nothing lead in this series. We'll see um, if, well, if Foggy is able to turn things around or if 120 will continue his win streak as we now go into game number two. 120 is spawning as the top right hand side of the map as we now slow things down back to one time speed, able to easily. Yep. All right, Archer is going to be coming across over here, use that lightning shield and attempt to take down or deal as much damage to this level 5, level 3, level 3 creep camp lightning shield, continuing to deal damage and that renegade wizard, well, probably should have thought twice before casting a damage dealing buff onto an opposing Archer. All right, Demon Hunter continuing to engage here, a brigand followed by... And two apprentice wizards will easily get cleaned up. Meanwhile, back off to the north, Death Knight now looking to clear up the remaining units here. He wants to make sure he's not dealing damage to his own ghouls and opts to uh, just really back away. He is down to 125 mana already, meaning he has used a number of death coils early on instead of opting for that very, very early unholy aura. Demon Hunter should quickly notice this simply by clicking on the Death Knight. Hey, there's no unholy aura and there's missing mana. I'm going to mana burn you instead and make it so that, well, you are unable to do as much as you normally want. Demon Hunter going to try and catch up a bit of that distance but the death knight now with that speed boost 10 percent speed boost here has to be careful wisp um oh i believe there was a detonation there yeah there was a detonation perfectly timed after that single hit death knights often attack once and then follow it up with a death quote to finish off a wisp but the wisp was able to detonate in time while the death coil was in transit all right Data viewer, I'm going to go ahead and show the total population 24 over 24 on both sides right now. So a very even game during the early stages as we're looking to see whether or not, well, what Foggy and 120's strategies are. 120, um, well, not getting an additional ziggurat yet. No, it's not invisible. It's being summoned. This building? No, it's being upgraded. Yep. Upgrade means to make it stronger and better. Boots of Quelta Loss now being dropped here as we see plus 6 agility, 1.8 armor, and a slightly faster attack speed. We'll see where that Death Knight will be traveling to next. Meanwhile, back down across over here, Demon Hunter going to look to engage and finish off the Troll Berserkers at this particular creep camp. There is a staff of teleportation ready. Who's going to get the item? Um, I believe the demon hunter did get the tome there. No item. Oh, item may have gone to the death knight. I'll have to... Well, you guys watching the replay and this cast will better know I can't rewind it easily. But you guys can through the magic of YouTube. Anyways, Foggy, now with his fourth moon well up, will have the additional benefit of just more mana in those moon wells. As we see a skeletal minion getting ensnared and taken out. Back down across over here, Ghoul's looking to head off. Um, head off down across here, maybe trying to take down that um, that wizard there, but that shouldn't be that easy of a creep camp to take, as there are two additional level 5. Um, are those brigands or rogues? I can't read the Chinese to really know, but you guys know what I mean. The level 5 soldiers right there. All right. Continuing to attack, it looks as though a low hit point ghoul may um, may try and get away. It looks as though that will be successful. Another plus six item has been dropped, and I would be surprised if that was not transferred to the Lich once we have the Lich out on the field. Plus six attack, Drunken Haze um, out onto the unit instead of Breath of Fire first. Interesting, interesting choice as another mana burn does come into play. All right, who picked up the item? Um, Demon Hunter may have picked up that item there. Yeah, Demon Hunter picked up the item. Death Knight was unable to really get that last item since his backpack is currently full as the units now retreat back home. Now, what is the long-term strategy that we're expecting from Foggy? It looks as though it's going to be a repeat of what we saw in game number one, but 
the hippogriffs just getting webbed down immediately and just feeding experience to the undead army. I'm not sure if, if hippogriffs are that great of an option if you know your opponent has three crypt fiends. Those crypt fiends are instantaneously t neutralizing a good amount of your army and well with them completely neutralized all they can do is absorb damage and die giving experience to your opponent. Um, perhaps getting more Dryads would be a, a safer bet, but then your opponent just counters that with more Crypt Fiends as well. So either way, you are in a very tricky situation as you can't quite deal with the, the magic damage flying air units. All right, yes, there is a sheep. I, I do not know what my daughter's fascination with sheep are in Warcraft 3, but yes, there was a sheep over there, I believe. All right, Panda now gonna go ahead and clear up this 3-1-1 Murloc Creep Camp Demon Hunter running around the map. Perhaps should allow the Panda to back off. By allowing the Panda to back off, it would have given the Demon Hunter level 3, which is level 2 mana burn. All right, there, uh, Panda, you saw flying sheep? All right, well, when sheep fly, um, Demon Hunter still down across here. You can take a look. Ancient of War trying to get in position, but here comes all the units. There is a Death Coil Archer now taken down. Mana Burn should be coming in. Mana Burn onto the Lich as the Lich now down to, well, no more mana and needs to get away. Ancient of War lying in wait, ready to go after this Rock Golem Creep Camp. It looks as though some damage is going to be done here in just a moment. Apprentice Wizard going to get taken out. Level 3 on the Demon Hunter. Panda still in that front line, absorbing a bit more damage and getting that necessary experience as the Demon Hunter's level 3 mana burn should be effective at slowing down the Lich and that Death Knight. Lich is sitting at level 1, but has plus 9 intelligence for over 400 mana at level 1. One. That is a crazy amount of mana as a mana burn does go down. 74 mana lost in an instant. Death Knight sitting at level 3 as the Lich is now sitting at level 2. Is he gonna, are we going to see another mana burn? Yes, we are. Another mana burn right there as the Lich has suffered a good amount of damage already. Ancient of War going to slowly trek it's in into this position. Foggy still seeing that 43 supply compared to 120's 40. Yes, Arya? Because trees walk very slow. All right. Demon Hunter going to go ahead and clear out the forest troll trappers that are left. A shade, however, now keeping track of the army as an archer is ensnared. Is He's an invisible shade. He's like a little ghost keeping track of the enemy army and letting all of the undead army know where exactly the night elf army is. Um, is he a player's forces are under attack. Uh, let's see where that is. Um, nope, the boots of Quote the Lost were sold, but we do see a plus 17 or an a plus 12 intelligence lich. The lich is now st has more mana than he has hit points. 540 mana with compared to 525 hit points. That is an amazing feat considering every point of strength gives you 25 hit points compared to 15 mana. Um, 15 mana for every point of intelligence. So 36 intelligence compared to 17 mana on that lich. That difference right there. All right, lich is going to engage. Clear up this creep camp rather fast. Plus 17 damage. 43 damage um, as a minimum and then you add in that negative uh, that you add in the armor debuff and you could easily be doing a minimum of what 40 to 50 damage if you don't have that much armor back down across over here ancient of war absorbing a bit of damage here and this is going to be a problem for foggy since foggy even if he does clear out these creep camps will not have the benefit of taking out the the renegade wizard who has dropped two plus six stat items for the undead army. This is the undead army. Uh, 120. They're kind of like zombies, kind of. Sophie. Don't worry. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No, they're just undead. 
they're undead. Don't worry about it. They're not dead. That's un it means not, so they're not dead, but they're not living. All right, Rock Golem right here. What's going to happen? Oh, Rock Golem taken down. Who got the experience? Staff of Preservation. Um, Panda looks like he still has a lot. Of, as we see a Manor Burn d do come across, you can see the Rock Golem trying to engage. A lot of damage is being absorbed. The remaining Rock Golem decides to back off, even though there's a whole bunch of units fighting next to it. And not sure who really came out ahead in that location. Foggy was able to back up there. Foggy had a smaller army. And let's see where the item went. Legion of Doomhorn going to the panda. That is a very powerful item indeed. Yeah, Foggy has a 49 army. Meanwhile, 120 has a 65 army. I don't know. Is 65 bigger than 49? 65. Is it bigger than 49? Demon Hunter now going after the Sess. Yep, that's right. Demon Hunter now going after all the Forest Troll Trappers and the Forest, tro uh, Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Cleaning this up as the Death Knight now lying in wait, ready to go. Two Frost Worms and a Destroyer here ready to go. And what is, the, what is to be done? You can see an Ancient of Wind is going to be added. And... Will the will the Ancients of Wind train Hippogriffs that really don't do all that much again? The Crypt Fiends are all going to be lying in wait here. Let's take a look at what's happening next. Finishing off the remaining Rogues and Brigands. Death Knight now seeing that level 4, level 2 Unholy Aura as we see a Goblin Tinker joining in on the Undead fight. Not quite sure what the Goblin Tinker is for. That is new. Those are Frost Worms. I guess they're called. I guess they're cold dragons. All right. Yeah, they do look like dragons. Okay. Can I cast now? All right. Panda comes across with a breath of fire. It may actually deal enough damage to finish off that ghoul. Yes, it does. Panda sitting at level four, level two. Oh wait, no. Are we gonna see a staff of preservation? Yes, it is in time. Demon Hunter with the Staff of Preservation. Panda also with the Staff of Preservation. Unable to save the bear as the Goblin Tinker is still engaging. All right, Hippogriff gets taken out, but the Dryads are starting to poke apart the remaining last bits of the Frostworm. One Frostworm now down. Another Frostworm could get taken out as well. It does have slow poison, making it rather difficult for the units to try and get away. Panda, low on mana, in a little bit of trouble. Is the Goblin Tinker going to be able to head back? Yes, it will. As you see more damage being dealt again. Staff of Preservation not used in time. Demon Hunter going after some more units as the Goblin Tinker is having some problems. All right. Death Knight continuing to fight back once more. Getting a good heal onto that Frostworm. A 400 hit point heal again as the bear does get Staff of Preservation. Staff of Preservation only a 30 second cooldown as the Demon Hunter gets the follow up Staff of Preservation as well. Foggy sitting at 44 supply compared to 120s, 63. The Shade and now looking to scout, out, scout back the rest of the army. What, this, this guy? Yeah, he's kind of floating. Because he's a ghost. He's like a ghost. I believe that's what this character says. Yes. Now, what is 120's follow-up plan going to be? He has dominant control in terms of in terms of bases, and as long as he doesn't allow his opponent uh, yes, you just saw a dragon. As long as he doesn't allow Foggy to take an expansion, he knows that he's going to be able to win the upcoming fights. The problem right now is the weak Goblin Tinker who cannot easily get healed. He's only sitting at level 2 and he is an intelligence-based hero, although his strength is currently rather high. A couple of mana burns and he could be in trouble here as the Goblin Tinker now looks to back up. Demon Hunt, or excuse me, Death Knight off over here. Uh, Demon Hunter right here as well. Shade still keeping track of this army. Level 4, level 4 Demon Hunter Panda going up against a level 4, level 4, level 2 undead army. In that Shade, Death Knight, and Goblin Tinker, or sorry, Lich, Death Knight, and Goblin Tinker. That is currently three obsidian statues here. Um, I believe one will be jumping into the skies in just a moment, absorbing a bit of mana, and be ready to go. That is a lot of magic damage. Um, 
to finish off bears where the dryads may not be able to get within range because of those very long range crypt fiends all right here we go um, Hippogriff's trying to do a bit of poking and there you have it they are currently poking down some units Demon Hunter currently running across is going to be able to get some good mana burn yes there is one mana burn there as we do see a Frostworm yes does get taken out at the very last second Archer going to get taken out as well bit of splash or a bit, a bit of an issue Drunken Haze Breath of Fire going across multiple units um, it looks as though, no, they, the Drunken Haze did not really go down, but we are still fighting as the Dryads may be able to finish off, oh no, unable to finish off this very, very low hit point Frostworm down to 47 hit points. All right, looking to now finish off the Destroyer. Dryads are in a serious bit of trouble right here as another Hippogriff does get taken out. All right, Hippogriff, is it going to be able to poke? Yes, it does poke it down, and all of a sudden, 120 down to 60 supply, not wanting to lose any more, uses the scroll of Port town portal but unable to save his very very expensive frostworm army heroes are sitting at level four level four level three i believe compared to demon hunter sitting at four and i believe the panda is still sitting at four but the death knight is closer to level five at this stage both sides recouping obsidian statues providing a, a bit of health for the undead army meanwhile moon wells and rejuvenations healing up foggy's army foggy needs to perhaps uh, go into nightfall buy a moonstone of some sort in order to maximize on this but he has been trading fairly efficiently even though he has smaller numbers now it is also important to note that he is out golding or out mining his opponent right now a seven or ten gold a second versus seven gold a second just because of taxes 42 supply compared to 62 and all you can really hope to do is trade efficiently at this point as we are looking at the main gold mines now with only about three minutes left and on each of them now is the tree of eternity perhaps no it does not have nature's blessing yet that is a big surprise nature's blessing is generally extremely useful in walking your tree of eternity to the next site but also getting a bit more hit point or armor onto your buildings we also see the the upgrade allowing bears to roar while in bear form but is that something you really want to be investing your gold in when your opponent has this many destroyers and has been cranking out those destroyers? The destroyers are just going to absorb all of that damage there as the Demon Hunter. Oh, forced to use a staff of teleportation in order to get away. He will teleport back home and, and feel a bit better. All right, down to 700 hit points pretty much gonna slowly regen that back up it is not nightfall he does not benefit as of yet could use this 425 moonwell to uh, since it is already maxed out and nightfall is well right now and um, yep as the shade is now keeping track of the night elf army the night elves are right over here the froggies no, all the people, the birds. All right, the birds are out on the field. I don't see... Wow, this is... This is a, an alarming number of, of hippogriffs. This is... Um, this is really, really strange to see this many hippogriffs. He's completely transitioning away from dryads, going into sh uh, mass hippogriffs in just a, an attempt and hope that th there is not going to be that many crypt fiends he should be able to poke apart both of these frost worms and um, by simply doing so but with the shade keeping track of the night elf army i'm not sure what really to expect we are down to only 45 seconds left of mining and one minute left of mining at each of these bases as a haunted gold mine now underway for 120 haunting that gold mine is going to be absolutely crucial nature's blessing has been completed this gold mine will be emptied here in just one moment as we are at 30 or 60 over 70 supply compared to 73 over 80. yes you did just see a wisp right down here it's in the tree you see the little swirl around the tree that is showing that a wisp is on a tree right there 
All right, let's take a look at what the follow-up play is going to be. Two Frostworms. Um, that is going to be interesting. The Panda and the Demon Hunter. If they are able to hold on to that, um, hold on to that front line with just those heroes, that could be enough damage. Tree of Eternity now making a slow move over as the Haunted Gold Mine has been established off to the north. That is a large number of Hippogriffs. Was that 10 Hippogriffs in the air, 30 supply of Hippogriffs going up against, well, two Frostworms, two Destroyers. That is a lot. So it is completely dropping the Dryads out of the equation entirely. Yeah, the Hippogriffs may simply be able to overwhelm the opponent. And the, the Dryads, who were so strong earlier, they have just been completely transitioned and phased out. Tree of Eternity now looking to, um, to root itself here in just a moment. Uh, the gold mine has been haunted here. Let's see what's going to be happening next. The haunted... Oh, oh wow. Beautifully done. Um, the shade is purposely path blocking this one tree of eternity and it will be able to finally get in position and start entangling this gold mine here. Here comes the fight. Death Knight is in position. Are we going to see some wisp detonation? Yes, there is some wisp detonating again as the shade is now put, looking to put back up again. All right, Goblin Tinker is going to start attacking the attacking here as we are looking at the Hippogriffs to try and engage down. One big Frost Nova causing big problems. There is the double webs as we are now looking at the Bears trying to get in position again. The Hippogriffs absolutely tearing apart all of the air units right now as there is a Drunken Haze to act as the slowing effect. More and more Crypt Fiends. We're at it again. The Dryads are in position. The web and constantly fighting as the Hippogriffs are unable to attack even though they are webbed onto the ground. Perhaps if they could peck, uh, peck ground units while they are webbed like melee, that would be a, a good strong use for them again. All right, continuing this fight here. It looks as though more units are going to get taken down. Um, more damage. Hippogriff gets taken out. Is it going to be enough to poke apart that last one? Hippo oh, no. 32 supply, thir or 2 damage, and we are still looking at a big fight here. All right, the Demon Hunter needs to get it within range. Lich now taken down. 50 compared to 79 supply as we are still doing a bit, uh, or 50 compared to 74 right now as all the units are now looking to back off again. All right. Um, low hit point uh, Frostworms. Two low hit point Frostworms. The big difference right now. If both of those were taken down, I would say 120 had lost the advantage. But how will you heal back up 1300 hit points? It does take a lot of time as the Lich is going to be resurrected as well. Demon Hunter going after some Acolytes, getting up to level 5. That is huge. Level 2 Mana Burn. Goblin Tinker is right there. Are we going to see that? Uh, Lich, oh, Goblin um, Lich getting the Death Coil just in time. Hippogriff shows up to the party. There is a Breath of Fire as the Hippogriff 1 gets taken out. There's another Mana Burn again. Demon Hunter needs to fight its way through. Now getting forced to back off. Is it going to get Staff to Preservation? Yes, it does. But the, now the Panda could be in trouble. The Panda needs to turn back around. Has Unholy Aura. Dryads trying to focus down. Is the Bear going to get the shot off? Yes, it does. As the Lich gets taken down for the second time. Frostworms now trying to run away. Nothing. No, Dryads are able to see a little bit up to the top here. Crypt Fiends now trying to engage back to the bottom. What is going on? The lines have been completely redrawn as the Panda needs to get away. He does have Unholy Aura. Should be able to run back just at least a little as the Demon Hunter comes back once more. All right, Demon Hunter, Mana Burn again. Goblin Tinker throws down a... Um, throws down a pocket factory as we now see more healing underway. 48 over 70 supply compared to 73 over 80. Uh, if the upgrades were perhaps higher for the Night Elf army, uh, I would say that there is at least some way for Foggy to get back into this. He has been able to mine essentially more gold, but he has not been trading um, nearly as well. Is it really enough to make up for that, well, three gold a second um, advantage that um, that he has? All right, 50 over 70 compared to 78 over 80. All right, are we going to see any sort of damage being dealt there? Goblin Tinker now inside. Demon Hunter going to try to engage. There's a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability already used. 
as the Dryads are going to try and poke down the Frostworm. Frostworm down to 751 hit points after a Death Coil as the Goblin Tinkers are continuing the fight here. All right, missing those attacks because of the Drunken Haze, but Bears are now getting torn apart. Lich is in trouble, down to 180 hit points. Is it going to get taken down? Um, down to 206 as a Staff of Preservation saves, I believe, a Bear. Panda now in that front line again, has a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability, should be able to engage. A Dryad gets taken down as multiple Night Elf units are once more on the run. Yep, Flying Sheep right there. Um, thank you for pointing that out, I think, as the Bears are now in full retreat once more. 49 over 70 compared to 78 over 80. Bears in position. Yes, Moonwell, Rejuvenation onto a Dryad. Are we going to see another Rejuvenation by this bear? That is another big question indeed. Um, that bear needs a... Come on, just get a little bit of mana. Uh, there's another Rejuvenation again, but you can see, see that the Disease Cloud is really starting to take its toll. There's another Rejuvenation, and it has really been... It's really been the bears and their rejuvenation. I see the shade. Uh, it's really been the bears and the rejuvenation acting as an additional resource for the night elf that's keeping them, keeping this army alive. It's now f up to 58 um, over 70 compared to 79 over 80. The damage potential, oh, zero, zero upgrades on both sides as the death knight now still sitting at level five, even though we're 27 minutes into this fight. All right, shade in a, oh, wow. Um, Oh, wait, dust of appearance or no that was a reveal that was not a dust of appearance all right death or panda now sitting at maximum mana that drunken haze of really really big benefits 60 over 870 shade is here once more keeping track of that army shade just keeping track of the night elf army once more both sides sitting on that additional gold mine and we'll see where this is all going to be coming to next. Two Frostworms, two Destroyers, three or five Crypt Fiends. The Crypt Fiends being the real, real damage dealer to those Dryads and those Hippogriffs. The Bears unable to get within range because of that slow. But Foggy is starting to make up the, the supply gap. It is now 64 over 70. Um, 64 over 70 compared to 79 over 80. All right, only a 15 supply gap now as the Demon Hunter trying to get in position here. All right, Demon Hunter can come across and engage. Here you go. Bear quickly focused down, though, as we now see the Hippogriffs trying to lie in wait. All right, Crypt Fiend number ones. Um, Crypt Fiends, a lot of them are still on fire. What's going to be happening next as the damage is still being poked through? All right, another mana burn coming across. Death Knight out of mana. Hippogriffs trying to engage. Drunken Haze, Drunken Haze Breath of Fire again as we are still seeing all these units attempt to run away. Death Knight with that level 2 Unholy Aura, the real reason why these units are still moving at a decent pace as we're still looking at all of these units continuing to poke around. The Lich getting a Frost Nova onto the Crypt Fiends, or, or onto the Hippogriffs, as the Hippogriffs now lie, run straight on into the remaining army. Another Breath of Fire coming across. Now no more mana on the Panda, which is a big, big issue once more. Demon Hunter trying to continue in this chase as well. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability on both Night Elf Heroes as they're continuing this push. Another mana, big mana burn onto the Goblin Tinker as we are looking at a 52 compared to 59 supply army fighting this out. All right, Panda, backing back up. Where are all the remaining units? Bears line, uh, trying to run back. Panda sitting at 85. Let's see, this Hippogriff needs to back off. The Crypt Fiend is just going to get a free, free web and in web right there and down it goes. 48 supply over 70 compared to 66 over 80. That loss of uh, fairly substantial right there as the units are now looking to re uh, heal back up once more. All right, Dryads unable to really regenerate hit points. As you can see, that disease cloud keeping their hit points steady even though they have 200% regeneration during the nightfall. Gold. Um, showing 60 gold compared to one 114. The supply difference is only 16 supply right now. Hats off to Foggy for winning an uphill battle constantly and still able to trade efficiently. All right, is the Demon Hunter and the Panda gonna be enough? Death Knight is uh, Death Knight. Lich Lich is almost level five. Let's take a look at this gob. Oh, Goblin, uh, not the Goblin Sappers. The well, is this actually going to give a level? No, that would actually be 
a nightmare taking down a pocket factory only to see it give a level to your opponent that would be an absolute nightmare there all right bears lying in wait a 15 supply difference between these two armies S and still no one ready to engage just quite yet death knight ready to go lich ready to go abominations trying to get into that front line obsidian statues healing back up and it looks as though the undead heroes are nearing max as well let's go for this next fight what's going to be happening here there's another uh, there's that pocket factory again 56 over 70 supply there is that pocket factory right there um, you cannot allow too many of those clockwork goblins to make their way out that would actually spell certain trouble as the tree of eternity can get taken down by these pocket factories a lot of damage is done back and forth meanwhile back off to the north here one dryad is holding position there there's the engagement there is a frost nova there is more attacking there's the drunken haze breath of fire level four level five now on the lich as both sides are continuing to fight there is roar but a com complete devour magic coming in from the destroyers that was pretty much instantaneous and really a bit of a problem now as we're still seeing the fight come through all right more webs getting taken down are we going to see another breath of fire demon hunter is in position takes down one cripping another cripping could get taken down sapa preservation saves as we are still continuing the fight here making its way back off to the top right a uh, demon or bear going to get taken down no staff of preservation but the obsidian statues are in trouble are they going to be able to get away as another i believe hippogriff gets taken down right there we're at 36 30 supply compared to 66 and i believe that is going to be it foggy had a great effort but not going to have enough here to finish off the remaining army and chased far too far and i believe that will be it now finally a 40 supply difference between these two armies as the panda tries to retreat back home and the tree of eternity is pretty much up in smokes 159 supply panda now down and foggy says game thanks for watching thanks for listening 120 taking game number two in this series